Hello everybody, Eli here, and today we will be looking at how to switch scenes in Wonderland Engine. To get started, just create a new project. I'm going to call mine Switching Tutorial, but you can name yours whatever you want. Next, we're going to create a second scene just by duplicating the main project file. So we're just going to say Show in Folder, Control Copy, Control Paste. And then we're going to rename this to scene two. To edit other scenes, all we have to do is open them up in another instance of the engine. So let's do that now. The first thing we want to do whenever we create a new scene is actually to go into the project settings and change the name of the project or this particular scene. We need to do this because it is not updated automatically to match the name of the file. And also, if we don't switch it, it will overwrite the build for the main uh, for the main scene. So I'm just going to rename this to scene two. And now if we go and build this scene and we have to do this individually for each scene, we can go into the deploy folder and see that there is a scene to bin folder and remember that name because we are going to need it later. Now one last thing, I'm going to change up this scene so we can tell the difference between it and the other one when we change. And finally, let's click build to make sure that the bin file has been updated. Now moving back to the main scene, let's create a component that will switch scenes for us. Here we can see that all this component does is set a timeout to wait for the specified time, and then we call the wonderland.scene.load function. And into here, we just need to pass in the name of that built bin file that we created earlier when we built the other project. So let's just add this onto the cube object. And then I'm going to set it to only three seconds so it doesn't take quite as long. And then we want to set this to scene2.bin or whatever you set the other scene's project name to. All right, let's test it out. All right, so after three seconds, this should switch. There we go. Now, what if we want our scenes to load even faster? We can actually do this by prefetching the data from the server so we don't have to wait for that callback before it's actually loaded. And to do this, all we're going to do is select custom index HTML in the project settings. And then we should see a new index.html file in our root directory. And then if we open this, all we want to do is right underneath this meta tag here, want to add in a line that looks a little like this. So what this will do is just preload the bin file for our scene and obviously change this to match whatever you named your project or secondary scenes. And just like that, our scene loads faster. One last thing that I need to mention is that any event listeners registered to DOM elements will not be cleared when we switch scenes. So if you need to do that, you will have to do it manually, and you can just add something to the Wonderland on scene loaded callback, and then do whatever you need to in there. And this page will be linked in the description below if you want to reference it. That's all for this one. If you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord linked in the description below, and us or our community will be very happy to help you out. Uh, if you found this video useful, please make sure to drop a like. And until next time.